unless you're a shithead named Gary Purvis. Who didn't show up for a scheduled interview on the Peter Bonnie Jenkins show. Today was a landmark day in my life where I was to have my very first interviewee and we were going to discuss his career. I was going to make him famous and huge and he did not show up and he will not answer my calls or my texts. Let me tell you something, Gary Purvis. Peter Bonnie Jenkins, don't mess with this, okay? I had my entire day planned around you, okay? I got you gifts. I, I was set up for lunch, dinner, drinks, everything, and you did not pull through on your end. Now, you like Sierra Mist, Gary? Gary, you thirsty right now, sitting at home? You could have been drinking this. You could have been drinking this cold Sierra Mist that I bought for you. But no, you're eating. I'm, I'm loving it. You're not getting shit out of this. It's cold, it's great. You like pizza, Gary? Yeah, well, yeah, I hope so. Because I went and got us a hot and ready. I did. I went out and I got us a hot and ready pizza. Pepperoni. And where are you? Sitting on your ass. Doing God knows what. Bullshit. Bullshit. You say it to my face. Peter, I'm not going to be on your show today. I went out of my way. Beyond the pizza and the Sierra Mist, which is really cold, and that just quenched the shit out of my thirst. And got you gifts. I got you this green... Sure Grip Control Extreme Air Flyer Frisbee to give to you. I went out and bought this. Well, shit. Here. There it is, Gary. There it is, Gary Purvis. Hope you like it. Hope you caught that one. Nope, because you're not here. Peter's pissed, as you can tell. I also went out and I bought you this beautiful... I don't know her name, but she's beautiful. This beautiful Japanese woman in this beautiful Komodo dragon dress that she is fully suited in to give to you, to put on your mantle and to love it. And you're not. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say really other than to call you. So we're going to call you right now. Gary, this is not my fault. I'm sorry if you're, you know... If you're having private time right now, I'm calling you. Speaker. What's up, man? Well, you tell me what's up. You're live on the goddamn Peter Jenkins show. Where are you? You're damn right, you're live. Look, I'm just fucking hot, okay? You did miss your slot. I didn't know it was you. I'm just fucking hot. I'm really pissed off right now. Why are you pissed? Huh? Why are you pissed? Because I can't be on your damn show, Peter. And whose fault's this? It's my fault. I'm just fucking hot. You missed your flat mic. Well, you did. I know I did. I didn't mean it. I had a koozie idea that kept me up all night. I overslept. Well, your koozie's 
just couldn't wait. It's just funny that she waits her answer my call to her on air. I called you 55 times and sent you about 67 tests. I got you a Komodo dragon dress on a Japanese woman. Well, you better cry. Bye. Goddamn shit! Apologizing to me like that? No! Maybe next time! Maybe next time, Gary! Oh, well, I guess I can't do this. I gotta go lay down. I gotta go take me a mud bath or some shit. I don't even know what to do with myself. Put cucumbers over my eyes. I don't know. But, I guess that's about it, you silly banana.